Hello, this is Matthew Purse, and in this video tip and trick, what we're going to do is go over how you can recover a PLC project even if you don't have the project file. So to prove this out, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new project and call it Recover Project. So I'm going to create that, and the next thing I'm going to do once that loads is open up my devices and networks. Once I have that open, I'm going to go to online in the taskbar and select upload devices new station. What it's going to do is it's going to open up this accessible nodes and pull what's on my network card. I want to find my PLC and look at the IP address. I want to make sure that my computer is set up to communicate to that PLC. Mine already is, so I'm not going to mess with my window settings. Okay, once I got the IP address matched up and the PLC selected, I'm going to hit upload and that's going to bring the project, uh, the PLC and all the hardware tied to it into my newly created project. Now I'm going to fast forward through this loading because this is a lot to load and it's going to take approximately 60 seconds to do all that. Okay, so now I have uh, my PLC and the devices attached to it loaded into my project. Um, I also have the uh, program blocks also was uh, uploaded as a part of this. So you can see that by when I go online with that, find my PLC. Hit go online and then I'm going to open up my PLC folder. You're going to see that everything is consistent now between my online and my offline project. So now that everything's consistent, what I can do is just open up uh, my OB1 I'm going to go ahead and just add in another on delay timer at the end just to prove out this concept. Go ahead and punch in a time there to make it happy. And now I can uh, download to this uh, this to my project without uh, worry of a compilation error because I'm missing a device. Once I have that loaded, now I can uh, monitor and I'm back in business. So I can freely uh, uh, make changes and correct a problem that may have occurred even though I don't have the project file. Uh, again, uh, if you have no how protection turned on the PLC, you may be out of luck here. Um, and also, uh, this is me using TIA Portal version 13 Service Pack 1. Thank you for watching.